I've I've gotten uh, many requests uh, that I've ignored <laughs> to kind of give an overview of this whole system, and I'm going to attempt to do this now. It's going to take forever. It's going to take even longer to upload it onto YouTube. But here we go. Um, I have come to know know this system. I call it simply the Beast for obvious reasons. It's it's probably the largest Plan B ear synth in existence. I, I would be very surprised if there would be devotees out there that would invest as obviously I have as their papa but um, let me get started it's gonna take forever this uh, the first the main four rows are almost exclusively plan B or the newer era stuff there's a few modules couple from other manufacturers this is a mishmash of various manufacturers as are these the two side panels starting here if you remember a few years ago six years ago I did a print, um, faceplate conversion kit with a blasted Richter wavetable oscillators, and this was the prototype. There are actually two here. There's no seam. Um, this is an ancient flanger pedal that I converted to voltage controls. I haven't used it in years. I'm sure it works. I haven't used it in years. This is a dual blasted processor with my faceplate. Uh, this is a Dieter's excellent face shifter, which uh, is a replacement. I gave my original to Danny for the toolbox since I recently filled the hole with another. I really missed it. His clock divider and trigger modifier, his excellent stereo um, quantizer, and his frequency shifter, which I have modified. This is not a mult. This provides external inputs that bypass the internal oscillator in here, so you have two um, externals frequency shifted. It's not clean. There's not perfect cancellation, but it's interesting. Um, this is my only... Uh, Model 17, the most misunderstood and probably one of the most powerful controlling modules I ever produced. Uh, the dual digital oscillator came out last year. I really like this thing. It's got some quirks to it, but I, I really love the fullness and the Dofer uh, mixer. We're going to get to this little strip later, but here we have a Blasset um, envelope generator, one of my um, Heisenberg randoms, my first ever built uh, low pass gig. There's three of them in there. All three different circuits, uh, the last being my own modification of the one that I release as a Model 13. Two Model 14 processors, my single um, Model 28 um, tap clock, another Heisenberg, my single Model 21C Milton sequencer, the O-scope. I love this motherfucker, I love this thing. And my uh, prototype panner, the Model 7. Okay, now this is the first Model 13, excuse me, 15 ever made on a printed circuit board. I didn't have room through one of my configurations here to have a full functional faceplate, so I, I cut this down, limited some of the things it does. Still works, still tracks. Um, it is 12 or 13 years old. These are my remaining three Model 15s, and in between it, I have two um, wave splices, one with the mistake in the original face place to say model 15a that was a mistake and later was corrected okay this is the intelligel wave folder my um model 9 mixer uh probably my, my uh, most unpopular module was the dynamic molt this is a molt in which you have attenuators for uh four to five outputs so one input five outputs fan out my model 13 Never released, but this is the prototype for the the Tri VCA. These are not low pass gates; these are standard VCAs. Um, it's on a printed circuit board; works great. Uh, my most copied module, <laughs> the buffered malt, one of them. Here I have uh, analog shift register, a working and wonderful uh, ear ADSR, another buffered malt, my. Uh, dual attenuator. Oh, I've skipped. There's another dual attenuator here. Uh, and two of my Model 37 LFOs. Three Model 10s. This is actually a um, analog systems mixer that I had a faceplate made, so it's not so goddamn wide and made it more usable. Um, my Model 25 uh, multitasking audio processor. And these are two new ones, the uh, Ear Series. This is the Steiner filter, and this is the new dual Model 12. This is uh, 
my model, my twin, my, uh, evil twin filter, model 11. And uh, this is a manifestation of the board that I did for cat girl synth of my low pass gate circuit. Okay, I just had a faceplate made for it. Headphone preamp, the module that destroyed me, the model 32 um, joystick, in which uh, I don't know what manufacturer stole my idea for uh, gates to produce based on XY movements. Some one of them did. Um, this is uh, not actually working yet. Uh, there's uh, problems with it. This is the Model 35 vector switch, which also didn't come out. What it was designed to do is to take external signals or from the joystick in here, and you could determine which of nine outputs were active or which of nine inputs had one output. It was a nice idea, and maybe someday I'll finish it. This is the working prototype with printed circuit boards of the Model 34 switch logic. There's a sequential switch that goes left, right, or random, and a dual analog switch on bottom. This is the uh, one working digital Milton sequencer. And, oh, my Model 26 multitasking CV processor, logic gates, uh, voltage inverter, and uh, dual slew. And this is not actually working yet. My keyboard, I, I mean, I, I did print the circuit boards, I had some left over, I designed the pad, they work, but I haven't put the circuits in yet. I will soon, there's my logo. This switch strip up here, it's just the I.O. thing I've done. This is the second time I've redone this. I've got uh, outputs to the power supply here. I use this as a ground for the side panels. Um, this goes in the oscilloscope, a preamp, and two effects I.O.s for stereo effects generators, only one of which I'm currently using. These are all molts. Okay, these are... Um, this is a patching bus. So I can go into here and it'll come out here. I can go into here and it'll come out here. Or I can send signals from this side to that side. There's a flat cable behind the system. And this is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, two more audio IO ports which are currently unused. And my master output. This is a level and this goes to either the, the monitoring system or into logic through an isolation transform. Okay, to the side panels, this is um, a great module that Analog Systems made, the uh, MIDI, excuse me, CV to MIDI converter. Listen to that carefully, it's a wonderful thing. Another blasted, oh no, no, this is this the prototype Model 12 with the full range oscillation in it. It doesn't have the right faceplate. This is what I use to figure out how to do that full res resonance correctly. Another blasted EG. I talked about this guy. This is my prototype Model 10 with some extra features. A Dofer uh, Wayfold, I love this guy. Uh, an analog systems uh, MIDI to CV. This thing is very quirky. It's always been quirky. It is what it is. Um, someday I'll replace it. Uh, uh, Dofer Dual Slew and their uh, ore combiner here. This is uh, one of Ken Stone's um, Serge resonant filter boards that I made a faceplate for one of these days. I'm going to do something with these jacks. I haven't decided what yet. Morph controller, which I've modified uh, to put indicators where are where what stage is active and how active. Of course, this is Dofer. Dofer uh, source of uncertainty copy and the little side module that went with it. And the molt. And this is um, a great uh, Paul Schreiber invention. His triple resonant filter which I adapted for my system. Another dual processor. This used to be my old uh, MIDI to CV outputs. It's unused right now. Uh, Ken Stone's um, Surge Phaser duplicate, and this is just where outputs for voltages and inputs for grounds and the power switch to the side panel. Now here's the last one. We're almost done. My prototype delay, which I showed at the 2006 NAM show, still with the paper faceplate. This is an Analog Solutions LFO. Um, this is uh, an Analog Systems multi-mode filter that I changed the faceplate for to get it thinner. <coughs> this is a duplication of the Buchla source of uncertainty. Um, point for point. With the uh, the digital noise generator, creates random and everything. 
the Dofer uh, Amel detector. This is my uh, Armageddon module, just gives you a trigger. All the uh, envelope generators, the ADSR you see here, are nothing but, they're, I mean, they're perfectly good, but I don't even have them powered up. I use them to block empty space. I know that's kind of piggish of me, but I do have a lot of these. Uh, my prototype effects generator, the wonderful Qubit uh, Nebulae. This is the first version of the new Model 12 that I did with some different features. The newer version, of course, is better. That's why I did it. Uh, my first attempt to put resonance in a Model 13 here sounds great. The ribbon controller from Dofer. We talked about this interface module. This is uh, the the stereo panning mixer that I showed at the 2006, maybe 2005 NAM, the first showing of Plan B. I, I haven't turned this thing on in years. IntelliJail Shapeshifter, I love this guy. Uh, Dofer frequency divider, love that. The prototype version two of the Evil Twin, which is SMT and will not be released. Uh, it's okay, I outgrew the amount of Evil Twin. I don't think I'm gonna do it again. And a Dofer, um, uh, much more reliable analog systems, uh, CB to MIDI converter. So th there you go, excuse me, MIDI to CB converter. There it is, my microphone, my SM58, and I hope you enjoy this.